Oh, right! You've helped us so much along the way. If it weren't for you... Who knows where we'd be right now? My sister and I owe you so much. We really couldn't have done it without your help. So we wanted you to celebrate with us. Well, howdy all you cool creatures. I'm Cryptid, welcome to the Cryptid Plays YouTube channel. And today we are continuing my time at Sandrock. Things got tense last video. We had the running of the Yakma, which was fun. And then we um tried to pretend to be Duvos HQ and they have now gone forward with one of their plans, which means there is an impending invasion on Sandrock. So now we are going to have to prepare for that. Uh, I'm going to probably try to level up and uh, put on some new gear, but the only content warning that I have to provide you with would be the photosensitive epilepsy warning, but I will always put a warning on the screen if there are any flashing lights. So with that out of the way, let's get started. I am going to have to upgrade my uh, assembly station at the construction junction, but that's okay. I also have to go buy some more stuff to make canvas. Are we going to be ready for Duvos? I don't even know. Like, I feel like we will be, but at the same time, I am mildly nervous that it's going to be a tough battle. On the bright side, I do think they give us time to prepare, so. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not what I wanted, although, can't do that. Uh, are you in the blue moon now? Where is the person I'm looking for? And I have to actually... Ah, all right. Aha, hello, Heidi. Hmm. I wish we had time to prepare more defenses. Just think, we could have put cheese turret technology all over a wall around the city. Ah oh, well, next war. So long, partner. I'm hoping this is the only war we have to deal with. But hey. <laughs> I forgot, I actually can upgrade my um work table or not my work table, my assembly station from home because I have the kit, but um, I need to get some parts. I need a gravity motor and some processors. I think. Okay, I can only do that in my workshop yard. Which would be nice if I could see the parts I need. Oh well, um. Time to go to the Mole Cave Abandoned Ruins. Can I get the gravity motor? Probably next floor. Thank God for reminders. I totally forgot I have to go to the saloon today. Still didn't get a gravity motor though, but you know, it's fine. Hey, see you around. There we go. Oh, 
you came. I was going to tell you the news, but then everything kind of happened at once, and we kind of got caught up. But the first phase is now over. What's the big news? Oh, all right. We got a huge job. If it goes well, we could have a steady source of income from here on out. Right on track to bring our parents to Sandrock. Of course, we're going to make sure it all goes smoothly. That is wonderful. You'll never guess. I really thought all this work was for nothing. We were struggling along, but Mr. Musa wrote to me out of the blue. He said that Luna had popularized my sister's pottery in Atara. And now he wants to help us spread even further. That's great. Oh my god, that is so exciting. And most importantly, with the steps we made to ease the production process, Hom will have plenty of time to learn more and develop her art. She doesn't have to slave away night and day. You really pulled through, guys. We did, didn't we? I feel like we finally worked as a team. I'm sorry, Hom. You've been shouldering the burden for too long. I really needed to do this. To just get over myself and grow up. And you have. You know everything we've been through, Avio. How much we've struggled to get where we are. I'm always happy to help. I've never needed anything in return. Just as long as we're both okay. You don't have to apologize for anything. I'm just happy you've managed to overcome everything and come out stronger on the other side. Everything you've done lately, you've done for us. But the thing that makes me happier than anything is that you've really grown and become a wonderful, caring man. You're no longer the kid I had to clean up after. I'm proud of you, Avio. Thank you. Sister, you... It's because of you. You've done so much for me. I had to show you. Pay you back. Uh, well, we invited you over to celebrate our success with us. And let's not dwell on these things. <laughs> I'm so, um, what do I want to say? It's touching to see you two talk like this or... Cheers to your success. You know what? I'll go with that one. Cheers to your success. All right. You've helped us so much along the way. If it weren't for you, who knows where we'd be right now? My sister and I owe you so much. We really couldn't have done it without your help. So we wanted you to celebrate with us. Today, we celebrate our bright future. To the future. May your workshop become the most renowned. May my sister's work become the most sought after. Cheers. Cheers. So cute. Cheers. When I see Arvio now, I just feel so proud. What do you have to say, Owen? I'm curious. It always takes something big for a man to grow up. To go from that spirited boy to someone who's responsible. And Arvio did it. He sure did. Why are you just standing there, though? Owen has a thing for a mirror, right? I've heard that before. I don't know if it's true. Oh. Oh my gosh, something is happening. It looks like over at Rian and Don B's home. I mean, Ryan and Don B. Oh my gosh, I keep calling him Rian. But if everyone else calls him Ryan, then I guess I have to. Is it their home or is it the saloon? No, no, I can't tell. It's disappeared. Ugh. Like, maybe... One of two things. It was a glitch. Or... Maybe he had a fire in his eyes I've never seen before. I'll bet he's arriving in Highwind as we speak. I hope so. Well, whatever I saw on my map is gone now. Oh well. Might as well put my builder to bed and turn in some stuff tomorrow.
Hmm. All right. I think I can actually possibly upgrade this. I might need one more processor. But I did... Okay, no, I still need the chromium steel plates and one more processor. I did get a gravity motor from a advanced toolbox. Oh boy. Uh, regardless, I need to turn this one in and then I'm going to have to get more limestone. Then I'll figure out what else I'm going to do. For the day, actually, I should act, uh, go get some more commissions while I'm at it. Can't stop work just because there is an invasion coming. Do I have enough for a stable? I just realized this. just need some more rubber actually which is not well rubber um shells which is not bad and then i can actually build a staple all right turn this in go gather some materials um there's story stuff we will do it if there's not we'll just go about our day BB. They say Arvio's grown up to be quite the mature young man. Seems like a completely different person. He isn't that impulsive little boy anymore. No, he's not. He's doing really well. Hey. Ah! You almost ran away from me. Also, I want to talk to you. This is what it all comes down to, Cryptid. This is going to be the fight of our lives. No amount of training will change what happens then. It'll be a test of pure grit. And you've got that in spades. Be seeing you. I always appreciate how much they believe in me, but it's like, I don't know if I actually have as much grit as you think I do. I guess I must, seeing as we've done a lot of um, saving people and stuff. In the town. <laughs> Listen, newbie, I can help in the fight against Duvos. I have a secret plan to totally destroy them. It's so secret, I don't even know what it is yet. Come on, let me out. Mm -hmm. Hold it, hold it. I don't know if you know this, newbie, but you've earned access to the second page of the commission board. Now you can take all sorts of requests in town. Now go make me, uh, I mean, make yourself some money. Well, admittedly, I think that was uh, <laughs> dialogue for, you know, before he was in prison. Hey, Grace. Howdy. Cryptid, the fight to come the fight to come won't be easy, but knowing you're on our side makes me believe we have a chance. If you've got any secret tools or anything you think you can make at your workshop, now might be a good time. See ya! Secret tools. Do I have anything that I can make that are really good? Admittedly, I don't know. Hey, Jensen. That boy Arbio really is something. I reckon he single-handedly put more trains on my line than anyone except Musa. Really? So then his, uh, selling stuff really does work. Well, selling his sister's stuff. Fascinating. Well met. I'm gonna go back to the mole cave real quick. Oh, probably not quick actually.
not gonna lie, but the mole cave abandoned runes are somewhat claustrophobia inducing. I'm doing my best to get through it, but... You know, that's, that's okay. see what I can get done today. Also, I finally built a stable. So now I can get some animals. To ride. That's going to be exciting. I'm certainly gonna have to make my property larger at some point but for now this is fine oh and a letter from Musa cryptid I got the same impression thank you for telling me I appreciate the honesty this information will be helpful I actually forgot what I told him that six chromium ore the Gets me on my way to upgrading my uh, work uh, assembly station. I'm like, what? What is it? I keep saying work table, and that's not it. Whoa. Hi, Neon. Hey, I heard the details. Never thought I'd see a war this far into the free cities. So I guess us builders will need to do our part to protect the town. And with no commissioner, I guess it's on us to figure out how we want to do this. You know, I did always kind of imagine that one day one of us would be calling the shots, but I never imagined it would be like this. Well, co-commissioner, this is it. What do you want me to build? Ooh. Hmm. Help with materials. I'm off to my workshop. Good luck. I am probably going to build a bunch of weapons, I assume. I really don't know quite what they need. But I'll do my best. But I do need some chromium, so I'm going to go to the Gecko Station Ruins. Actually, hold up. I should uh, start some more commissions. And then buy a horse. Or some kind of mount. Preferably a horse, but... You never know. All right, let's see what kind of mount I can buy. If I even can, I don't know if I have enough money at the moment. I do not have enough money at the moment. That's okay. This has been a pretty chill video, actually, because in spite of getting ready for an invasion, I haven't been able to do much. All right, I can turn in two commissions, um, which should give me some experience. Hopefully I'll end up being experienced enough to wear some nice new gear and not this hideous shirt it is hideous it is absolutely hideous but it's better than my other one which kind of kind of makes me sad even refining my other one doesn't get it as good as this one although i really would like to get reflect back on it thank you Well, 
I guess it's time to put my builder to bed. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna leave it there. We didn't really get much story stuff done. We did get, of course, the little brunch with Arvio and Amira. Or lunch. I think it was more like lunch. But, you know, other than that, we're really just getting ready for the invasion, which is cool. Um, this is pro probably ended up being a very short video, even though I recorded for two hours. But, uh, that does mean I got some stuff done. So next time, hopefully, we will be able to get some stuff moving. And hopefully I'll be at a higher level so I can wear some good level gear. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like it, please hit that like button. It helps the video go into the YouTube algorithm and it makes me feel pretty good. Also, if you want to see more of me but you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and sometimes extras and shorts randomly throughout the week. I also stream on Twitch on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Fridays are usually twice a month, but they have been known to be more, and sometimes less. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!